Okay, I wanted to show you how to use paper as a resist slip. I made this tray and it's a little past leather hard but it still has moisture in it so you can still put slip on it. So to open up the pores I'm just going to dampen it a little bit. Now I've cut some little pieces of paper. You know, it's just newspaper and so what you do is you take the paper put it down and go over it with a sponge. Let's see, put him, those guys there. And the paper sticks down and you keep, and you have a really nice edge. Dampen the clay a little bit. paper on. Yeah, here's a square. Maybe a triangle too. A triangle over their heads. And maybe finally a line or two. So now, once you have them stuck down, all you need to do is get some slip, and you paint right over the top of it. Now, pay attention to the direction of your brush, because remember, with slip, unless you put three coats on, you're going to have brush marks. It's going to show. Which... Take advantage of it. You can see I'm putting these lines in the direction that I want those that thick and thin to be. Now all you need to do, if you have some areas that you got slip where you don't want it, sure, just take it off. You can either scrape it off or you can sponge it off. Now this iron is very weak, so that little bit of extra iron there won't show. Now, of course, you can do other things. You can use my favorite slip applicator, a toothbrush, and just splatter it on. So you put it on. And then take your finger and go across it like this. Every so often you'll get a drip or a blob. If you don't want it there, wipe it off. I usually leave it for the variation. Another thing you can do with those drips and blobs, take a needle tool and pull that slip out into the other slip. Traditionally they'd use a quill from a bird to do this.
Now, normally you wait a little bit longer to, to take that paper off. I'm going to just go for it right now, and we'll see how it comes off. You get a very nice, sharp, clean line. The only hard part is finding those images. And you do want to get all that paper off. Ah, there's one. another. I think that's all. Now, you're not tied to just leaving it like that. You can come back in and add other things. So this is slip with a little extra water. This is a green slip. You get it, get it going. And this is in a, um, well, it's a hair bottle for dyeing hair. Because that slip doesn't merge with the glaze, it just sits there. All those lines will stay. And these will actually be a little bit raised. You can also put one color on top of another color and it stays. It doesn't blend together. Now, if you do do dotting like I'm doing right now, make sure that slip is thin enough that when the dot settles down, it settles down to a dome and not a point. If you have the slip too thick when you do this, it'll be a point, which is great if you're making a sea urchin. Not so great if you want something that's functional. You can always sand it a little bit before you uh, fire it. Now, just like every other art form, the hard part is knowing when to stop. So, I think I'm going to stop on this one. Thank you.